I'm Michael Rashad, and welcome to Race Team, a comprehensive solution for managing every aspect of your racing team. This is the car screen where you list all the cars that you have currently in your team. Clicking on any car will load all the parts that have been issued to and assigned to that vehicle. This is the park screen. You can look at all the parts or you can select a category to see everything that's within that category and then you can select a subcategory to see all of those items. If you select all it shows you all the parts for all the categories and you can simply type a few letters in the filter field to find all of those parts. When you click on a part it loads the information, part details, Inventory, start inventory, current inventory, value, if you're keeping track of the prices, the categories and subcategories, what you have in inventory, and where that part has been used and on what vehicles. On the mechanic screen, when you click on a mechanic, it shows you which cars they've worked on and all the work they've done on those cars. You can filter down for a particular vehicle just by selecting that vehicle. Locations are where you store the parts. You can have a location type and all of the different locations. Selecting a location type will filter down and show you all the items in that location type and then you can select a particular location within that type to see what's in there. You can also select a different location for any part and move it instantly. On the vendor screen, you see a list of all the vendors alphabetically. Clicking on anyone will load that vendor. You can then see the detail and the logo if you've brought it in. If there are any purchase orders for that vendor, you can click on it and go directly to that. You find the parts that you need, and then you click on any part to add it to the library of parts that you can get from that vendor. Parts can be purchased from multiple vendors. You can create multiple purchase orders for different vendors when it's an open purchase order. In other words, it hasn't been placed with the vendor. It's shown in green and you can add items to it by simply finding it on the right hand side and clicking on it. Once an order has been placed, this panel on the right hand side disappears and you can no longer make changes to that order. You can record the items as they come in just by clicking on that line and entering the quantity. To add parts to cars or assign parts to cars, you select the car, you select the mechanic, you find the part. Once you've found the part you need, you click on it to add it to the assignments and you can select a vehicle, any of the vehicles to see what parts are being assigned to that vehicle. And then when you're ready, you just press process assignments, which moves those parts onto that vehicle and removes them from inventory. 